guys who know Coach Osborne very well and three guys who have won the most coveted piece of hardware in college football, the Heisman Trophy, joining us now. Gre guys, great to have you. Johnny Rogers, Mike Rozier, Eric Crouch. Neat to see all of you on campus together. What's it like for each of you when you walk on campus, when you come back? When we come back, every day is game day. <laughs> <laughs> Put me in, Coach. We ready to get it on like buttered popcorn. What about for you, Mike? Uh, I just feel great coming back home here in Nebraska. Um, I live in Jersey, so it's like my second home here. You, Eric? Yeah, well, just living here, I, I, I just like the, the fact that the fans are so supportive all the time. You, you know, 15 years for me now coming back, and, and fans are still saying hi, and, and people brought their Heisman signs out from when it was 2001, so thank you very much. How often does winning the Heisman come up in your everyday life, Johnny? It comes up every day. Every day and in, every day. In what life. way? Like you're, you're, you're walking around and... Someone says, hey, that's Johnny well, Rogers. I know you're a businessman, too. Is that, is that part of it? Well, it helps to get an appointment. <laughs> <laughs> People return your calls. <laughs> no, uh, living in Nebraska, you know, we're very noted all over places that we go. So uh, people come to us, up, up to us all the time, and, and want to greet us and take pictures and do different things. So it's, it's quite rewarding here being, uh, living in Nebraska and being from Nebraska. Eric, you are a football analyst as well as a, a former Heisman winner. Let's talk about Tommy Armstrong. I mean, you played the quarterback position. He has made, I think, incredible strides this year. Where have you seen the most growth in him? Well, I, I think the most growth for him has been in his ability to use his legs. I think that's been one of the big assets this year for him and helping this team uh, continue to drive down the field and put points on the board. And uh, the years in the past, I think uh, that he didn't use his legs as much. So it's really nice to see him add that to the game. And you see 4-0 uh, and, 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 and helping them put points up on the board. It's been huge. It opens up the throwing game. Mike, we talked a little while ago about Mill Teneper and, and noted that he had passed away this week. Give people who aren't familiar with this program a sense of how important Mill Teneper was to the success that you had rushing the ball and, and winning as oh, many games as you guys did. It's, it's, um, I only got the words to even say about Coach Tenenberg. Um Last night I went to his viewing. He had a little wake yesterday. Uh, I went there and see him. Uh, he looked pretty good, nice and comfortable, seeing his family. But without Coach Tenenberg back in my day, or, or, or Eric's, the linemen, we definitely needed a line to get through the line, to get through the hole, to make some score some points, and he did a good job. You know, you're back here on campus. You mentioned that you are from New Jersey and live in New Jersey. This yes, has sir. become a second home, obviously, to you and, and has been for many years. What makes this fan base so special? It reminds me of family. I mean, I don't care where I go at, everybody always talks about Nebraska football, Nebraska's fans. Um, they support you. I don't care where we go. We will be in Japan. You have more Nebraska fans there than the team we're playing against. Eric, as you've observed this program make its comeback here under Mike Riley after a disappointing year last year, what has stood out to you as he has tried to acclimate himself to the Nebraska culture and get this program back to where it's been historically? Well, I, I hear a lot of people talking about he, he reminds them of Coach Osborne, just the way that he carries himself and he treats people, and I think that's a, that's a huge compliment. And, uh, you know, you can see the things that happen on the field, and and it is starting to, it's starting to be believable because the, the team and, and the system and the fans and the, and the base is starting to buy into it. And, uh, you know, every game is, is a game that you have to go out and, and compete and you got to try to win the football game. But I think he stands for the right things. Win or lose, he's the right coach for the position. I want to have you guys leave us with this, each one of you. What's the memory that is most etched in your mind of your time in Nebraska? And, Johnny, I'll start with you. Well, I... Uh, I think the, the Coach Devaney's final game, we were able to, uh, to, to send Coach Devaney out as a, as a, win, a winner. Uh, he was uh, one of the winningest coaches in the nation at the time, and we were able to, didn't have an undefeated season in our, in our senior year, uh, but we were rated 10th, and we, we came in uh, and beat Notre Dame on our way out. You know, Coach DiNardo played in that game. I and remember. Yes, uh, he still wakes up in a <laughs> sometimes thinking about what you guys did. You didn't just beat them, you eviscerated yeah, Notre Dame. Yeah, yeah, it was a, it was a route. What about for you, Mike? Um, I think back in my day, um, every time we walked on the field, we knew Coach Osborne prepared us really well for that weekend. We knew we were going to beat them. Whoever we played, we knew it was going to win. And most of the teams were scared of us to walk in the stadium to see number red. So we knew it was going to win. I think that was a good, a good feeling to all the players. Fondest memory for you, Eric? 
You know, I think uh, it goes back to uh, just the opportunity uh, for me to play. Uh, there was a time in my career where I, where I thought about stopping football, and it was uh, early in my career at Nebraska, and I just am thankful to have uh, coaches like Ron Brown and Frank Solich and Turner Gill that gave me the opportunity to get back on the field and, and play that next game against Iowa. And, and there was a memorable play there for me against Iowa a couple years, uh, well, many, many more years than just a couple now. So, <laughs> But uh, that really kicked off my career at Nebraska. Uh, so great to talk to all three of you. Thanks for coming. Eric Crouch, Mike Rozier, Johnny Wright. Thanks for having us. Uh, thank, you. thank you. Thank you, Dave. What a special moment.